Jones. God damn, I can't tell you so much more. This shit was trash. Hey, YJ and producers trash. This shit is trash. LA's trash. Bob Powers is trash on this song. Nothing against you all. This song is garbage. Of course, City ain't nothing against you. This shit is trash, though. Yeah, yo, look, I can see the hatred in the way they move. Cool, that's the difference between me and you. Violation caught the flag on the planet. And the city don't look good, all you give it a break. Leave it alone. Look, I can see the hatred in the way they move. Cool, that's the difference between me and you. Violation caught the flag on the planet. And the city don't look good, all you give it a break. Why Jay said take a break from the Atna, but haters got Jones as strong as the Indiana. Watching all my moves, cause he ain't making none. Stay counting all my cases, cause he ain't making none. Most of these haters ain't never done nothing creative. But starting this situation inspired by starvation. What do you get from hatred? I'm trying to figure out. I'm making money, making moves, and I'm feeling now. This nigga right back over here up in his feelings now. He no longer talking boxing, he talking killing now. What the fuck we supposed to do? We supposed to shoot it out. Brother, we supposed to be brothers, brother. Let's talk about it. Talk about it. You can see the hatred in the way they move. Cool. That's the difference between me and you. Violation caught the flag on the planet. And my city don't look good on you. Get for the break. Look, it's no way in hell that I can let that hinder the rise. Been through the fire and I couldn't let that enter the pride. They don't know the half of it. Better get a third. Listen to every word. Chit chat for birds. Listen here, I cannot be deterred. So I told him, get your hate up. I'm still silent. Not affected by the bull, told them chill. Silence. The thicker the skin, the bigger the wind. I'm trying to see my people rise, I just don't know when. Can't see how when the crowns always bleed down. Told my brother you can have that. There with a crown, now run with it. When you done with it, pass the baton. It's real game for the radio, you know what I'm on. Come on, come on. Look, I can see the hatred in the way they move. Cool. That's the difference between me and you. Violation caught the flag on the planet. And my city don't look good, all you give the break. To be a slave in 2019. Victims of being free still stuck in a pipe dream. I see burning crosses within the night's gleam. And you in the grocery store licking ice cream. I was raised by wolves and drug dealers. Wouldn't harm one white man, but love to kill niggas. Damn, that's self hatred. This is the dilemma that we all face with. Now you can rinse Martin Luther King had a dream. It's been a nightmare full of house and triple beans. I can see the hatred in the way they move. Cool. That's the difference between. Between me and you, violation caught the flag on the plate. Yeah, the my city don't look good at all. You give it a break. And Messiah had to juice. Every lie starts from a rumor. Every straight boy has a shooter. For every drug, there's a drug abuser. For every woman, there's a fucking loser. I was raised around cold moves. AR big boy shooters. This lifestyle is deadly. It was slowly seduced. I'm haunted in my dreams. My conscience is my job. My best friend at the age of 15 got shot in the head by a brother. What does that mean? I'm no. trapped in the wake up with a bag of self destructive and make keys start killing kids. Look, I can see the hatred in the way they move. Cool. The difference between me and you. Violation caught the flag on the planet. Animosity. <laughs> Hold on. There is a. Oh, shit. Let me turn that off. Get that extra echo. All right. Microphone's working. Everything's good. I don't want to be too loud up in your ears. I just want to be quick with this one. Um, apparently, the Wi Fi is acting up. I only see two bars. I'm going to have to go unplug that shit in the living room and plug it back up because I need my Wi Fi boss to be serious. But. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through the Twitter flow, copy most of those videos, and then put it into, uh, I guess, an expose. But what I did learn from the videos, the excerpts, the people who are producing the films, the people who are promoting the films is, wow, this this anti ADOS movement, the people behind it, the people behind it, 
those who have reservations and other things of the nature and why majority of the predominant anti ADOS proponents out right now are people of color. Mixed people of color. Um, and then you have people who don't even understand that they're anti themselves um, by chastising other mixed people of color. Um, there are some who believe that if you were not born of a black woman that you are not black whatsoever. You might have some chromosomes, but they're not dominant or predominant, nor do they describe your ethnicity. I um, love listening to Mad Hand and a few other people, but these things, these antis, and these disruptions, and these we can't identify unless ideologies are all formulated to make sure and keep us in the form of separation. And we play the game so well. Man, we play the game so well. I've taken to the point of falling back. I, I might every now and then jump into a conversation regarding either ADOS, anti-ADOS, reparations, the discussion for reparations, the discussion that needs to be had for reparations, the legacy and the things that you know reparations will entail, if ever decided upon by a country who enslaved people and then discriminated against them for 400 years. I got to give Cynthia G a shout out and props because she showed or played an expose of a white woman's interpretation of visiting a plantation. And she, I guess the white woman wasn't there to see or hear about what plantations were in the old time. No, they wanted to see the housing structure, how the farm was made. They didn't want to hear about slave slavery, enslavement, and what was done to the people there. See, people don't want to hear it, and they don't want to know about it or acknowledge it because then you have to do something. Or at least you have to acknowledge that something has to be done. Right now, Twitter's lighting up. There are a bunch of people who feel the movement for reparations for African Americans, descendants of those enslaved, here did not benefit and should not receive any compensation for the atrocities, the legacy, the economic warfare and destabilization, um, the constant third class citizenship, benign neglect. I mean, there's a multitude of words that we can use that specifically describe the African American community. And now that we have an immigration policy that's very harsh, these non black people and non white people are facing a challenge and they're facing what. I guess we faced some, uh, well, let's not count the years of time because then we have to factor in compensation. But right now they're the targets. We're the light secondary targets, but they are the targets. Got a lot going on, folks. A lot we should think about. There's a lot that we should fall back and consider because so much is going on, but the point that I would like to make to all of you people, so-called people of color, is that your ideas, your ideologies, and anything that you can formulate to come up and bring to, you know, promote the rise and the stability of the black community here in America, it's all under attack. It's always under attack, no matter what size chooses to bring it forward. Democrat, Republican, pro-black, non-pro-black, cool, non-cool, whatever you want to call it. None of you have made strides. None of you have made stances or movements that have done anything or gone anywhere. You know why? Because it's simple and easy to innately trigger our tribalism. I see white European people are tribal, but their tribalism 
was stopped in order for them to get together to defend themselves against us and the Arabs who were taking over the southern portion of Europe. When finally expelled, they began their conquest of the known new world. This was less than six, seven hundred years ago. People. Four hundred of that African Americans here have been enslaved, captured, amongst other things. If you find yourself aligned with anti ADOS or anti reparations, I need you to align yourself with whom you're aligning yourself with and make sure that you know exactly what's coming from those people because I know what's coming from Tone Talk and, and Yvette Cardell. Bullshit. Majority of bullshit. So, hatred, it's what you get from some of these women in the divestment community. They're bitter, they're hurt, um, they're harmed, they're angry, and so they spew that. But for the most part, most people who support ADOS also will tell you they support Pan-Africanism. We just need to define ourselves here as opposing to conglomerating ourselves everywhere because of what support will we have? See, we here don't have national support behind us. Our government can inflict some type of pain on other governments or at least put restrictions on them. See, we don't have that. We're going to talk to America. They don't give a fuck how any other country treats us when there. So we got to realize that the stand starts here collectively for us as a nation here. Um, but most of you people are anti nationalism or anti nationalist or anti your fucking selves to begin with. While you're being slaughtered and others are being slaughtered from nationals here in America of stability, building, emphasizing, creating your own, fortifying, securing, and governing it. It's not hard to do. Taking over a town is not hard to do. It's really not. But it does require some capital. Forward to the days when my kids don't have to have these discussions or challenging talks. I'm glad I have different media platforms to put these type of segments up for future reference. I hope we can realize that aligning ourselves with anything that's anti towards our progression is why we have no progression. So for those of you who scream, yes, we should incorporate into America, I understand, but you're not respected. So incorporating yourself into a caste system at the lowest form of it is the problem. You accept being less than in the eyes of, and you accept being put in positions that are compromising to yourself. Granted, that is the fault of some of us who have not created things. Um, there should be banks, establishments, land, areas, development projects. There should be a lot going on. And there is a lot going on. It's just not with all of us with the same minds. And they're helping our people through collective idealism. See, white supremacy is simply put, I can throw your application away and accept this guy's application due to white supremacy is simply put I can throw your application away and accept this guy's application due to the color of the skin that's the simplest form of white supremacy you'll ever find it doesn't always happen but that's the simplest form and with a brother like myself with a name like Tyrone, you can only imagine now with the newer rhetoric, me submitting resumes with the name Tyrone on it, no matter the accolades of what comes behind it, puts me in a category to be chastised and tossed to the side. Thank you, wonderful, ignorant black people who have created a dynamic where names devote attributes 
I hope Sarah, Jillian, Beth, Becky, um, Shaniqua, Bokwisha, whatever the other fucking names are, become the same type of stupidness that you guys have implied on other people. Names do not denote character or potential of a person. However, ignorance perpetuates these ideas. Guess I'm glad to be in a position to where my work speaks for itself, but my position is not afforded everyone. Someone's got to make a stand somewhere. Someone's got to say something. We accept this chastisement. We accept this. Why? I just don't know. Um, but it is to our own demise. When it becomes a parody that sixteen thousand dollars would be to pay out, pay out from the U.S. government for reparations, and then part of that pa- parody, a quote unquote mixed race child, only gets half of that. Well, the idea is funny. It would never be done. With Jewish people, all the ideas, or the atrocities that happened in the Holocaust. While some will say, yes, there are still people alive from the Holocaust, or the descendants of people from the Holocaust. Black men, women, and children of here in America are only four to five, possibly six full generations removed from slavery. They tell you it's too much time has passed and no one is alive from that time. But the legacy is. And that's what people are talking about. Compensation. Rectifying that situation. Granted, those of you who say we should have our own, be our own, work on our own, build our own, you're all correct. You're right. But that's not what this discussion is about. And we've had that discussion prior to this one, and we're going to have it after this one. Currently, we should be talking about this. And those of you who feel that, well, maybe we're off, we shouldn't be talking about it. I get it. But Twitter lets me know that they're not just making fun of me or anybody else with this ideology. They're not just making fun of immigrants. They're making fun of you who stand against it as well. All of us are a joke for and against all of us. This is comedy or comedy speaking about compensation or America rectifying what it did to become this great country and who it used to become this great nation. I hope those with minds heard, listen, consume. Um, things have heard, listen, consume. Um, things happen. Hopefully this episode comes out clear. If not, it is what it is. I can understand why it did. Peace.